coming in, all you gardeners out there, my thumb is not the greenest. We'll go over that here in a second. I want to get these tomato plants in. First, I put down plastic. Ain't all in one day. It's all in what you can afford at that. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm going to do a quick video here on uh, you and I start doing some uh, pumpkins. Get them started. I start them a little late in the season. They, uh, they you want them to come off later in the summer, uh, hopefully around October. So maybe you can save you some money on buying jack o' lanterns. But if not, you know, we're going to use them anyway. We're going to plant some in these paper pots I made. Uh, these are some squash I done earlier this year, and I've had some people wondering about the durability. Uh oh, Let's see if we can keep that open without the wind blowing it around. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Uh, doing this video inside, wind's blowing outside pretty good. So, uh, until I get my new camera equipment, I might have to do it in here where so you don't hear all that. But anyway, uh, these paper pods, I made some with this earlier in the year. I'll throw some footage up here of that. And uh, there was actually snow on the ground when I was doing this one. So, uh, you know, but I've been having people ask, wondering about the how long they'll last and how well they'll stand up. And these have been through three seedings, and because I've had to reseed them twice, uh, first two times I just got in a hurry, they got too cold, and they died. So, but I always keep plenty of seeds on hand. Seeds are cheap, so I've started some new ones here. Uh, like I said these are squash, these are crookneck. I think those are cucumbers. I use these. The pumpkin ones I'm going to do a little bigger because uh, they're just a little bigger plant and I want to give them plenty of room. So uh, I'm going to try this sucker here out. This is a pint jar that I'm not using and uh, we'll see if I can get that to work. If not, we'll go ahead and use these. I mean, it's just something I'm going to try. Take you a sheet of newspaper here. And I actually unwrap mine when I plant them. I don't like having that newspaper in the ground. I don't know. That's just me. They say you can. You can just throw them in there and it'll mulch away. And maybe I will on these. I don't know. I just unwrapped the last ones I planted. So, Got the bell peppers, hot peppers, banana peppers, and all my tomato plants out there right now. They've all started to come up. So we're going to have a second batch of them. That's good. Kind of have some later gardening going on. I got my early plants in. They're going right now, and these will be later. So, that's to have fruit all year long or veg vegetables. That feels a little thick. Okay. This is easier if you just have a cup of water. Just dip your finger in a cup of water and run it down the side. But I didn't bring a cup of water out here with me. Alright. Ooh, that's already wet. I must have a hole in my tray. There's some water right there. fold this in half because I want it to be pretty good size. These right here I folded into th in three, made them smaller. We're going to fold this in half and uh, we're just going to do it the same way but we're going to use this bigger jug. That might be a little too big. go that big. We'll go halfway up just like we did on our other ones. And that'll give us plenty to fold that sucker down in. Give it a good squashing. And there's our paper pot. Fill it up with dirt. 
This is some of that starter soil I had left. And I might as well use it because I've got it. There we go. Nice big honking deal of dirt there. Get out our seeds. I got a whole bunch of seeds just laying in here. I'm pretty sure they're pumpkin. That I harvested from other pumpkins. But I've got some that I bought too, so we're gonna try the ones I bought. Paper pots for my pumpkins. I'm gonna get them started. It's supposed to get cold the next few days, probably well for about a week, get colder, but not as cold as it has been, so. And here, the last three or four days, it's been 90 some odd degrees. The plants have been loving it. Not not me so much, but the plants have been loving it. So these paper pots, hey, they work great. They're tough. They're durable. Use them. They're cheap. And they work. So I'm going to get back to this. Until next time, stay tuned. I'll keep you guys informed on what's going on with the garden. Uh, looking to expand a little bit this year. So stay tuned. I'll see you next time. Ball for the Outdoors. Check us out. Rate us. Like us. Subscribe to us. YouTube. Facebook. Twitter. Pinterest. <laughs> whatever else. Go find us. Go like us. Give you guys a little tip here. Uh, I didn't do it on this one, but I usually do. You got to watch it when you're planting your seeds before you water. You want to get that wet before you plant your seed. Because, see, I can only find one. It floats them. And then there's all that peat moss inside here. Peat moss uh, kind of deters water. So it kind of makes it where they it could float your seeds down deeper than what you want them. So I've had to go back and find these and make sure they're not too far down. You only want them about a half inch down. So you got to be careful with that. If you just put the seeds in there and water them like I did, all that. Uh, peat moss floats it up and then settles and you know it could bury them so you gotta be careful I think that's where I went wrong the first time I planted these in these in this kind of soil friend knife making quality knife making made in America for tons more videos go to our YouTube channel Wild for the Outdoors you can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com and be sure to visit our online store. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember it's your God-given duty to manage this land.